Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something to me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Angels with Scaly Wings. So, y'all, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? What are you doing, kitty? I'm taking it off. Kitty seems like she's being a bit silly. What do you do? What do you do when you come here? I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna tan your little hide. Silly thing. Alright. Anyway, y'all, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, alarm chain, you're up, and let's go. All right. We had just caught up with Reza. Suddenly, one of the doors opened, and out came Reza, carrying a large cardboard box. When he spotted me, he set it on the ground. Keegan, you're here. You don't know how glad I am to see you. I've wanted to talk with you for so long. I've tried to contact you, but I couldn't But I couldn't with someone tailing you the whole time. But talking can wait. Now that you're here, we've got everything. Come on, help me with this, and let's get out of here. No. <laughs> No? What are you talking about? I'm not doing anything until you answer a few questions. You want to talk now? Sure, why not? We've probably got a few hours if you wanted to. None of them will disturb us here. We could even get the backup generators at well after after we send in, after we send this one over. When did you realize we, we when did you realize we were in the past? How did you know about the comet? I've known for a while. It's what I wanted to talk to you about when we met at the portal. How about you? I've only recently found out. Looking back, it just seems so obvious to me now. I'm not sure how exactly you figured it out, but there's so many damn clues when you think about it. I mean, how could a supposedly completely different independent civilization speak the same language as us? What was it supposed to be, an alternate reality? No, it was just a different time. When was there... When was there, when was there ever anything resembling these creatures on Earth? It's not hard to make the jump from dragons to dinosaurs when some of them here look pretty damn near identical to dinosaurs we knew about. And then there are also the prehistoric fruits, the plants, and the fact that their technological level is nearly exactly the same as our own past society. We don't even have to think that abstract, you just needed to look at the sky. The sun, the moon, even the stars are the same. Constellations change over time, of course, but you know, we know we could account for that stuff. You could have just pointed your PDA at the sky and would have told you the time period, including the imminent threat of being eradicated. You could even see the meteorite in the sky, and how it would change its position day after day. Are you done being condescending? I guess so. You killed those dragons, Reza. What a brilliant deduction, Sherlock. Why did you do it? Do you really need me to spell it out? I thought better of you. After I found out the truth about this place, I knew just waiting for the generators we were owed was not an option anymore. It would have taken who knows how long, but I didn't intend to stay a day longer than necessary. You wouldn't believe how hard it was for me to acquire some generators. Some of the dragons didn't go down easily. Who cares that they got the generators I stole? Who cares that they got back the generators that I stole? With just this one, we won't need any of the others. How could you do this? How could I do this? Let me ask you this. What harm is there really in taking their generators when their whole civilization will be gone in a few weeks anyway? The ones I killed just died a little earlier than scheduled. Even if that creep hadn't shown up and interrupted our meeting, we wouldn't have had the time for, had the time for them to make the generators for us. How about we don't let them all die? They aren't going to be extinct anytime soon, if that's what you're concerned about. I paid the hatchery another visit before I came here. With the right persuasion, I think we'll have plenty of reasons to keep at least some of them around. Bodyguards, border patrols, weapons, even as pets or companions as long as we make the necessary changes. <laughs> See, it's not as bad as you might think. I'm not just going to abandon them like that, only for the whole civilization to be wiped out. Get your priorities straight, Keegan. Next, you'd rather starve because you suddenly empathize with a stake. And you're not satisfied just starving by yourself. No, you're going to let all of us starve because you want to impose your morals on everyone. Since when do you think that you get to have any say in this? You know why you're here. What you're proposing is treason, and you know the consequences. Personally, I don't mind if you want to stay here. You know I don't care about corporal punishment. Just let me through, and you can do whatever you wish. I can't do that, Reza. I see how it is. They've told you they need this generator to stop the comet, huh? And now you've become their lackey. Don't tell me you've been drinking up what they've been telling you. You know they have as much of a vested interest in this whole thing as humanity does. That, that I and you do, or at least used to. Do you think they wouldn't do the same if it was their families on the line instead of ours? Their entire world is on the line here. They live in perfect harmony with their perfect green energy source and no reason for wars or conflicts, yada yada yada. We had that too, and you know what happened? You know what happened then? Of course you do. This is such an idiotic trope, you know. Random person meets weird natives, learns their ways, and then ends up saving them. What do they need you for, huh? 
Maybe they're going to be extinct for a reason if they can't even save themselves. You know of our suffering, yet, will, yet you will let them have it? I don't care what happens to them, but unlike you, I was at least trying to save humanity. At any cost. We have the solution right here. You want to get philosophical now? Don't you think we deserve it? They've had it for who knows how long. Now it's time for us. Not like this. Do you think I like it? If there was a different way, I wouldn't have spent the last few weeks doing what you didn't. We don't live in this fairy tale world of yours where there is a perfect solution to everything. You should know that. Just being here for a few weeks must have messed you up. I think I know why. You got too used to all the comforts they have here. You actually don't care if they all die back home, do you? As long as you can stay here in this perfect little world of yours. You have discarded everything and everyone back home and replaced it with this. It is because you don't you just don't have a life back home. I can even understand that a little. Of course it would be a night it would be nice to just stay here where they have everything but we don't. But being here also reminded me of everything I hated about our world as it used to be. The pettiness and the politics. Say about the solar flare what you want, but it leveled the playing field and gave people like us a chance to make a difference. It's like, you know, water time. Hmm. Limoncello water. One second, let me open my water bottle so I can have it ready for the next gulp. All right, good to go. For all of our efforts, what did we get? A vote that was meaningless in a sea of stupidity and lies. Now everyone has to pull their own weight. We make the rules. You, of all people, should understand. Of course they wouldn't. They haven't experienced how it is to live like how we do. To see the world burn and everyone you know die around you. And because I have, I won't let the same thing happen to them. How many do you think died back home just in the two weeks you've been here because we don't have power for the hospital, huh? Do you think those victims aren't worth mentioning? Or do you just care about the few dragons I killed? Our city is the last bastion of a civilized society in a world where nothing else is left. Maybe you've forgotten about them, but I haven't. How many of us do you think will still be there in a month? A year? Or are they just a statistic to you? The same can be said for the dragons. What do you want to do? Talk me down from doing this? And then what? It's too late anyway. You think they're just going to let us go after what I've done? Fat chance. Whatever you may think, you'll find that our leaders back home agree with my course of action. Why are you telling me this? Because I expect you to join me. It's not going to happen. And you call yourself an ambassador? This generator is the only thing we need for our city to survive. How can you even argue about this? The dragons also need that generator, and I'll do what is necessary to stop you if I have to. So that makes you judge, jury, and executioner. What a wonderful set of morals you have there, Keegan. We only need to wait until the comet is passed safely. You think you could stop the comet? And you need this generator to do that. Sure, if your plan fails, then not only is this world gone, but we also lose any, all, any and all hope to save our own. You're so close now. We can't risk anything by waiting for your crazy plan when back home they're dying by the minute. I will not let you. You only want to save your own two-faced hide because you don't want to face the consequences of what you did. Oh, God. <laughs> Why are you laughing about this? Because it's a joke. It must be. I'm the one with a gun and you thought you could just waltz in here and lecture me? Listening to you was fun and all, but the grown-ups must get back to work now. I mean, what are you going to do? You can't stop me now anyway. Maybe I can. Suddenly, Ma 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 Maverick and Remy appeared next to me. You planned this, didn't you, Keegan? Traitor! And to think I let you distract me with such a cheap trick, just because I thought there was still a shred of humanity within you. He pulled out his gun. Not sure which one, he should have, which one of us he should be aiming at. Just let me go and I'll forget this thing ever happened. You've got six bullets for three people. You think you can really do that, Reza? You think this is worth risking your life for? I've been risking my life for this every day for the last two weeks. What did you do during that time? Sip champagne in your nice apartment? Besides, this generator in the whole building came from our time. They belong to humanity. Surely, the, suddenly the administrator came out of the shadows in the hallway behind Reza. No, they belong to me. Confused, Reza spun around, aiming his gun at the newcomer who was slowly walking towards him. Who the fuck are you? Freeze! I said freeze! Want to waste your bullets on me? Feel free. You can't stop all of us. <laughs> if you say so. Oh, he pulled the trigger. The administrator fell to the ground with a dull thud that knocked her mask off. <gasps> oh no.
Mortified by the display before me, I found myself unable to move as the events of the following seconds unfolded before my eyes. Oh, shit. Oh, no, not Remy! Oh, God. I need water. Reza was quick with his gun and shot Remy once before Maverick could charge him. Oh! Maverick pounced, snarling and knocked Reza to the ground before embedding his teeth into the body before him. Despite his thrashing and screaming, Reza managed to find his target and pulled the trigger twice. Immediately, the jaws dislodged. Reza pulled himself a few feet away while Maverick's body convulsed uncontrollably. Holding his bleeding wound and breathing heavily, Reza looked at me. You're not gonna help me, are you? Then it's futile! He raised his gun, aiming at me while I regained my composure and tried to run. A single gunshot resounded through the hallway, and as soon as I heard it, a sharp pain shot through my back. I fell to the ground immediately. He continued pulling the trigger, but no more bullets came. After a few seconds of silence, I slowly turned around. Reza was leaning against the wall, his head slumped forward lifelessly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Remy, please be alive. Remy! Maverick and the Administrator, both lying in a pool of their own blood, were not moving. I crawled over to Remy and was glad to hear him breathing. He had been hit in the side, and I saw blood trickling from the wound on the ground below him. He raised his head, looking at me with an expression of pain. You're wounded! So are you! We need to stop the bleeding! I put some pressure on his wound, momentarily halting the blood that was trickling down his body. Can you do this? Let me try! He felt around his side, trying to get the right grip before he applied pressure on his own. I let go, and after a bit of adjustment, Remy could stop the bleeding on his own for now. I took off my shirt and briefly considered whether I would be able to use it to dress Remy's wound, but I soon realized it was not long enough to wrap around him properly. Besides, if he couldn't walk for now, it would not make a difference anyway, and he would have to stay here while he held his wound shut. Instead, I used the shirt to, cu to curb my own bleeding, folding it and wrapping it around my abdomen tightly. Look! R Reza's gone! And that other person! Remy was right. Both Reza and the Administrator were gone. You have to go! Go and stop Reza! I need, I need to find you some help first. I can't just leave you like this. Don't you dare tell me you would be doing me any favors by saving me. If it's just going to be one of us, I don't want it to be me. You don't know how it is to live every day as I have, always wondering if the pain will ever stop or if things will ever change again. And when they finally do, you come along and tell me this? Don't do that to me. I'm not going through this again. What do you want me to do? This is bigger than us, bigger than me. Just go. Go and stop Reza. All right. I hobbled to my feet and made my way back outside, just in time to see Reza vanishing through the portal. I made my way back to Remy to look for something to treat his wound. Given everything that just transpired, I had no idea what was going to happen. I also wondered where the administrator had gone. I checked a few of the rooms and even found a first aid kit that I used to treat both of us. Soon, however, I heard steps behind me, and as I turned around, I was surprised to see another human face. It was a soldier. Who are you? What are you doing here? I asked him. Oh, who are you? What are you doing here? I asked him. We're here to save you. Reza told us about everything, he replied. I didn't know what Reza had told them, but I certainly didn't want to leave just yet. I tried to protest and told them about Remy, and the soldier let me know that they would take care of it. For now, however, their orders were clear, and I was to come with them immediately. Another soldier arrived to take the, and took the generator with him, and they escorted me back through the portal. After all this time, I wondered what would happen now, to our world and the dragons. I arrived on the other side only to be met by a team of EMTs who were already, who were already expecting me. I was urged to lay down on a cot, which was quickly transported in the back of an ambulance. I took off my bandages and examined my wounds as I heard them calling out medical terms I didn't understand. A breathing mask was put on me, and soon I lost consciousness. I wasn't sure what exactly Reza had told them, but with him dead and me wounded, humanity decided to take what they thought was theirs by force, which included the underground building itself. Hoping for a diplomatic solution, the dragons retreated in, and borders were established, all within a matter of days. Thousands of people living in our city were quickly relocated. For them, it was a better solution than any other. Here, they had already, they already had a working infrastructure, buildings, and things looked just like they used to. When I awoke from my induced coma, it was, this, it was with the expected dose of confusion as I had to realize the place was deserted, and it hadn't been just the building, it was the entire city. Everyone was gone. Whatever Reza had told humanity had been enough for them to ultimately decide to leave me behind as a traitor while they sought out their promised land. To their credit, they could have killed me, but just leaving me behind into my own devices was exactly the kind of punishment I would expect from them. I wasn't even sure how much time had passed since I returned. 
While they had permanently disabled the portal, I was at least able to find plenty of supplies they had left behind as I roamed the city to make a new life for myself. After a few days of checking buildings, building after building and getting to know my new surroundings, I was surprised to see a shadow flying overhead. It was a dragon. Wow, what is going on? Hey! Blinded by the sun, I couldn't quite make out the dragon before it landed and approached. It was Remy! Remy! What are you doing here? I've been looking for you for the last few days. Honestly, I wasn't sure whether I was going to find you at all. I don't even know how long it's been since I last saw you. It must have been a few weeks. Why did you come here? We need you. You have to tell them what really happened, what Reza did, and everything else. After you went back, the soldiers found me and I was interrogated. When they were negotiating with our council, they realized that Reza's account of what happened here differed a lot from what really went down. Of course, there are a lot of blanks they need to fill in, too. They needed to find someone who was willing to go back to find you, so I did. Besides, I owed it to you after everything you've done for me. Remy. I guess they realized the error they made by leaving you behind, but now all of us need you as a witness. You must tell them the truth. How's your wound? It's fine. I was patched up pretty well, all things considered. Come on, we've got no time to lose. The portal is just around the corner. But how are we going to get back? They, de they, they deactivated it. I know, that's why they gave me something to repair it. Let's go then. A few minutes later, we arrived at the portal. I thought about alternative options, considering we would be able to use it for now. Time travel came to mind, and while I knew about the portal's capabilities to do so, I had no idea how. Either way, I would do what I could to make things right. Alright, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. It looks like we are getting close... We are bad at the end game now. Looks like we have to give our account of what happened. But anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks, or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.